Hello, I'm going to show you how to stitch the hair in the Moonlight Hair Picture today. And I'm going to start by going around the edge with uh, a pale grey, so starting just on, on this shape. But I'm probably also going to then stitch across uh, into some of these other shapes to break up the outlines a bit and soften it and make it look a bit uh, more like fur. I'll turn that round. <laughs> So where I've got this brown line, I'm going to stitch across it. So what I'm doing is I'm just breaking up the edge and blending the colours in a bit more uh, using a, a stitch that's sort of somewhere in between really. So hopefully you can see how that's beginning to uh, give a much more furry look and it blends in all the cut shapes and makes it all into one piece. Now I've changed to a browner colour and I'm just going to do a little bit of work on his back. to this part of the leg. And I think possibly a little bit in the centre of the ear. I might do a little bit of work around the eye using the brown. Use a vanishing pen, like a friction marker, to draw a little mouth and the nose just on the end of the, the fabric. So it's sort of like a T shape and then give the mouth a little upward curve to make your rabbit or hair look happy. To 
finally on your hair don't forget to add some whiskers because that's really going to give it the the finishing touch of authenticity There we are. I think that might have finished him off. Use a finish van. Use a vanishing pen, like a friction marker, to draw a little mouth and the nose just on the end of the the fabric. So it's sort of like a T shape and then give the mouth a little upward curve to make your rabbit or hair look happy. Finally, on your hair, don't forget to add some whiskers because that's really going to give it the, the finishing touch of authenticity. There we are. I think that might have finished him off.